First, we define a function called update a llama models. Functions in Bash are a way to group commands so you can easily reuse them. We create an empty array named jobs to keep track of the background tasks we'll start. Next, we need to get the list of Olama models. We use Olama list to get this list, but since the first line is usually a header, we skip it with tail n plus two. We then read each line one by one. Inside this loop, we extract the model name from each line using awk, which helps us pick out the first word, assuming that's the model name. Now we check if model underscore name is an empty. If it's not empty, we print a message that we're about to update this model. Then we run the alama pull model name command to update the model, but we do it in the background using the end symbol. This means our script can keep going without waiting for this command to finish. We capture the process ID PID of this background task with dollar and add it to our jobs array. We also print a message to say that we've started the update. If model name was empty, we print a message saying no model name was found. After starting all the updates, we need to wait for them to finish. We loop through each PID stored in the jobs array and wait for it. Once all updates are done, we print the list of updated models. We use Olama list again and skip the header with tail n plus two. We use awk to format the output, showing specific fields separated by tabs. Finally, we print a message indicating that the update process is complete. To actually run this function, we can do a few things, but I'm going to save it in my basher C file, source it, then we're going to type in update Alama models. To sum it up, this script fetches a list of Alama models, updates each one in the background, waits for all updates to complete, and then lists the updated models in a nice format. It uses some common bash features like functions, loops, arrays, and background processes to do all this efficiently. If this helped you out, like the video and subscribe. It's like a one cent tip. I'll catch you in the next one.